ओके सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेक श्योर योर डिवाइस इज रूटेड एंड यू आर यूजिंग एंड्रॉइड सिक्सटीन बेस्ड कस्टम रोम विच इज नाउ हैविंग अ पिक्सल लॉन्चर प्री इंस्टॉल्ड मे बी इवन इफ इट इज एंग समथिंग डिफरेंट लॉन्चर इट्स कम्प्लीटली ओके बट मेक श्योर इट इज हैविंग पिक्सल लॉन्चर प्री इंस्टॉल्ड I did not have Jaijisk enabled, which is inbuilt in Magisk. We are going to install this Jaijisk Next module. We have two options available. You can also use Jaijisk Next. You can also use Re Jaijisk. It's totally up to you. In my case, I am going to use Jaijisk Next in this case. And even if you are using Kernel SU, that method will work for you. Second module which we have to install in this case is this LS Post. That is also completely optional. I mean, we have some options available, different different options, different different versions. In this case, I'm using a real LS Post. You can also use normal LS Post if it is working fine for you. You can use that. I'll drop the links in the description for all the supported things. Next one is after rebooting your device, you will see LS Post has been installed already, and now you have to install the main module, which I'm going to talk about in this video. What that is, that is related to Pixel Launcher. So this is the one I'm going to install Pixel Launcher Enhanced. It's been a very long time since I last made video on, and as far as I remember, I made a video on my other channel regarding that. So let's have a quick look on this version on this. Amazing looking magic module and how it is useful for you. For example, I just installed, I just enabled it. One thing keep in mind after enabling this module, if the module is not working for you, you have two options. One, you can simply restart your device, and if you don't want to restart it, what you can do is let me show you. You can simply force stop the Pixel Launcher. Yes, in this case, Pixel Launcher is pre-installed, but we can easily force stop it. Simply go to All Apps and go to Show System. Then simply search for Pixel Launcher, like in this case, and click on Force Stop, and it's done. And then the module will work for you instantly. As far as I know, even if it is not working, what you can do is you can simply restart your device, and then it will work for you for sure. So we have some of the options available, and actually the best option regarding this one is we have some amazing things available. For example. If you don't like the default icon icon size in Pixel Launcher, because many users don't want the big icon size if they have a different layout. For example, in my case, it's four into six, but the default icon size is not actually good. It's actually quite big, so I can resize the icons according to my preference, my choice, like this one. So it's totally up to you. If you want to configure it again, you can. If you move on to home screen options, there comes some amazing and outstanding things. For example, we have Double Tap to sleep. In case you want to use it, you can. You also have the option to hide the status bar to make your home screen look so good. You also have the option to hide the desktop search bar if you want to remove the Google search bar from bottom. Sometimes it's quite annoying. You can also add your own search widget in case you want to, so you can disable that. And also, like the hide status bar option is working fine. We also have the option named as hide at a glance. In this case, it's just working perfectly fine, and that actually is one of the main highlights of using this thing. Many users who love Pixel Launcher, but sometimes they don't because of the quick uh, that quick space that at a glance widget that is non-removable. There were some workarounds there which helps you to bypass that, but the space was still there. But in this case, Evolution X OS Android 16 no issues so far. And for now, QPR one stable is not rolled out yet, so it's working with QPR zero, which is the default Android 16 so far. We also have some other tweaks related to App Drawer, for example, App Search Bar, which you can enable or disable. And the recent panel have a simple tweak named as Clear All button, which is available right now here. We have some other options available too, but the Clear All button is actually so useful. Another good thing regarding this one is in miscellaneous options you have this launcher settings option available. So, for example, if you hold here and open the home settings of the default Pixel Launcher at the bottom, you have the option for Pixel Launcher enhanced options, enhanced settings basically. That's just one of the most useful things out there. If you're using a custom ROM that have Pixel Launcher pre-installed, then yes, this module can solve a lot of problems for you. For example, removing the at a glance widget, hiding the status bar, resizing the icon icon size, and many more things. So go and explore this thing. All the required files links are available in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.